So I'm very glad to have a chance to record it now. Hello and welcome to My Man the Maker. Today we got another package post Chinese New Year from SF and it's a long time coming. Chinese New Year in South China is taken seriously. Yeah, North China too and everything shuts down for close to a month. Anyways, these items have been on order for quite some time. I've totally forgotten what's in this order so it's going to be as much of a surprise to me as it is to you. Why don't we get into it, see what we got. I'll tell you why I bought each item, what it's for, which project it's intended to move forward, and uh, maybe go over some of its characteristics and unique properties. Take it as it comes. Let's see how it goes. So, not a big package this time. I mean, <laughs> previous shipments have been like the size of a Christmas bag. This one's a little smaller, but perhaps no less important or full of fun and joy. Let's see. So we'll open up this little guy here. And from this side too. There we go. And super sharp scissors. I'm a little worried about stabbing myself with them actually. There we go. Okay, so we have box. We have Wrapped up thing, manifest, another box, what looks like round stuff. Okay, well, let's take these one at a time. I'll move everything off camera until we're ready for it. And then once we are, once it's time comes, we'll just bring it on screen. So we'll start with, I don't know, the furthest away box. What is this don't know okay so let's get a knife on that open her up all right I've got the side open it is car stuff We've got a, this is an attachment battery adapter, or, uh, sorry, a cigarette lighter adapter for a car. And what's the rest of it? Aha, okay, well, uh, what we have here are a charger and batteries for my video camera, which is running out of juice. Uh, and what this does is it gives you the ability to charge your battery charger using your car, or you can swing out the blade type adapters. Now let's see. It's good for 100 volts to 240, which means it'll work anywhere that this type of blade is uh, accepted. 50, 60 hertz means it works anywhere from Japan to the UK. Puts out 4.2 volts DC at 600 MA. Great. And let's see. The battery here. I had an old video camera that I used for taking uh, stills. And the battery is going bad. So my expectation is this will go in like that. And then you plug it in, either in your car or your line power at home. Package came with two batteries, which is lovely. And looking forward to getting those batteries in service because the one in the in the camera, which is this one, is getting a little long in the tooth and running out of juice at all the wrong times. And I've only got one battery. The other one went bad. So that means that I can put this one in and keep going and not have to stop wait 40 minutes or whatever for it to charge up and I can have one charging while one is uh, in the camera being used so I can just pop it out put that one in here put this one in there and keep moving wonderful so battery pack for the uh, the older 
uh, Sanyo Exacti video camera, which I use. It's 720p. It's an HD camera. And I use it a lot because I don't worry about... Basically, I don't worry about hurting it. It's so old now. Okay, so here's the second package. Here's the next thing we're going to open. Feels very hosey. So I think it's part of the hose hoses that I want to install in uh, Easy Rider. It's current hose. It's no good. So I got some of this stuff. That's some pretty heavy duty hose. Whoa. And I also got another one. If that one's red, then this one should be black. <clears throat> Looks like I got more black than red. Two meters of black, one meter of red, and the inner diameter should be the same, but the outer diameter is significantly different. Yeah. So that's what um, Easy Rider needs. It's got a bad hose on the um, would it be the the exit? Yeah, it's in the lower half of the radiator, going back down to the bottom. So it's going to be one of these two hoses that ends up going there. This stuff is pretty heavy duty, five eighths. And good for 300 PSI 20 bar. It's plenty tough for uh, uh, the cooling system. Should be able to handle it no problem. So this is what I'm going to use to rebuild Easy Rider's cooling system because the existing hose uh, cannot find one and it's got a break in it. Well, it's got a hole in it. So that's uh, got to get fixed. Let's put this aside. Here's the package. Let's have a look-see as to what's in there. There we go in here. I don't want to damage whatever's in there. It's very tightly packed. That should do it. Okay. Packaging in packaging. Always nice. Yeah, there's nothing in there. So we'll go here. What is this? Ah, okay. I'm very happy to, to get this. This. Looks like I'm going to have to do better. Let's go here. Undo that. There we go. This is replacement brakes, rear brakes for Easy Rider. Wonderful, great. So now I've got, what do this stuff is? Now I've got a set of brakes for Easy Rider and I can put the rear wheel back together. So that's two rear brake shoes for the drum brake assembly on Easy Rider. The existing one actually looked like it had maybe 50% wear left but I figured seeing as I was opening up the rear completely I would replace the rear brake shoes partly because I want the experience of having done it and partly from an abundance of caution this kit comes with the springs so uh, it's pretty easy to install these I'll be doing a video on it you hook up the springs and then you kind of tension and twist and they go together and then you drop the two ends on the pins. Has to be greased up correctly. Now, luckily, I have received the grease in a separate package yesterday. Well, after a little bit of searching, I found the lubrication for the brakes I was looking for. The uh, brake shoes for the rear brake of Easy Rider need lubrication, particularly that big hole there, which is a pivot point. So I went ahead and bought on Amazon a brake grease kit, which I'm looking forward to using on both the front 
and the rear brakes. This one's got pivot grease, uh, not pivot, uh, piston grease, and shoe grease, and bolt grease, as you can see. Uh, looking forward to trying it out. It was inexpensive, and I'm pretty excited to give it a try. So that's the sort of, you could call it the bookend of the brake shoe arrival. The uh, lubrication for the brakes arrived yesterday in a single package, so I didn't record it. So I'm very glad to have a chance to record it now. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please consider subscribing, giving me a like, and leaving me a comment. I really enjoy making these videos, and I want to know from you how I can make them better. The whole point of these videos is to demonstrate that if I can do something, you can do it too. Well, that's it for now. So long, and remember, keep making.